Okay, I know I said that the last video was the last video, but I just went away. I was having my lunch, and I wasn't happy with the number of errors I was getting in the w in the uh, in the house. And the more I thought about it, um, the more looking at the problems a lot stemmed from the chimney. So I ended up going away and rebuilding the chimney. And what I ended up doing was going to into each piece of the mesh, like the chimney the roof and the the beams and that and checking them <coughs> excuse me before actually applying them to each other in a boolean and then checking the state of them afterwards which turned out to be not as much work as I feared um, and the result of that was that if I hide that this here I go in and I check it and you can see that apart from the overhang faces which is just a 3D printing thing there's no errors and so I decided to just then add the base to that directly I'm going to hide that and then I'm just going to apply that and if I go into this I'm just going to merge and a check and I'm only down to eight intersecting faces and a couple of thin faces apart from all the other issues I used to have so what I can do with this is I can just I'm just na I'm going to knife this here down here like that and check again down to six so like that and zoom in on here and again based on what I've previously done I know what are likely to cause errors and it's just something about Engon certainly seems to be an issue right and things like this where the, the points are very close but not the same right what I did there, oh I didn't have me hang on let me just flick the uh, the shortcut keys on, shall I? Um, what I did there was basically in the 3D print tools. I did select the intersect faces to control plus on the numpad, just so I know where they are. And these are internally. So what I'm going to do is alt hide, select that do it a few times and shift hide right so again this would be I'm just going to try select that point or select that point and join them check everything and that's gone so all that's left then is thin, fa thin faces and we can even have a look where they are and that's up on the roof And can I see any logical reason for that? I think this is something to do with the angle, really, of these. Why it thinks those two are thin faces. It seems to be something to do with the sharpness. But uh, I can't, can't see any. I mean, I could try joining them and check it. And that's not made any difference. So, I could just be to do with this sharpness. So if I'm, I'm just going to GG and pull that, actually I GY it and just move it, GY, just move it slightly and check. Yep, that's all it was, it was something to do with that. Hang on, GY. Yeah, it was that, that it didn't like. So... It was just something to do with that. Of our GUI slightly out. Yeah. And that I can live with that. And that's fixed it. And now it's got nothing but overhanging faces. So that should be perfectly fine and dandy to export to the 
the software for pinging. Uh, I'm just going to save that. And so now I should be able to go in here. And I'm going to delete that. I did delete all models. Open. That's got to be that one today. Yeah. Scale that up. Make that 400. And there we go. And do that for an auto fit. Maybe make that a bit smaller, 20, 10, yeah, and there we have the full model. Now I'm going to call it quits, um, again if you've made it through all of this and hopefully you've done it in stages and not tried to do it in one sitting. Uh, I do hope it's been of use to someone, at least. And that's me done. Bye now. Just doing a quick addendum to the final video here. Um, I'm just going to merge these two videos together. I thought what I would do is I'll just show how to add a bit more detail to this, so I'm just going to duplicate it, hide the original model. I'm just going to call this version 2. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do little things like rounding these, these off here. This would be an issue, rounding that off, because if I tried to round that off, I can only round part of it off, so you've sort of got to be aware of that. Now to get what I want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knife down here, just all the way to there. Um, the reason for that is I'm I'm restricting what I'm going to do with these, which is bevel them. Now again, that I'm not happy with that in terms of ha being so close to the to the thing. So I'm just going to GG and I'm just going to pull it down a little. Right. Okay. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to select that, and I'm going to select that, and I'm Control B to bevel them like that, and we're just going to get some nice bevels to give it a rounded edge. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to click, I'm going to Control click and Control X, and that just restricts that to the. And I'm going to do the same thing here, and I'm going to just K okay, uh, from here down all the way to here, return, same thing, select these edges, control B to bevel, I realised I've not put the keys on, the, I've not put the short key, keys on, but basically it's control B to bevel there, so let's just stick that on. And do the same. Click, control, click. I can't use Alt to select edge all the time. This time it's worked, but there's no guarantee in it will. So, but control, click will always work. And you do the same thing here. So just K. Dump, did dum. K. I might as well do both sides at the same time. And then I'm just going to select these edges. and control B like that right let's try alt click and try alt click there that's worked so control X and I'm doing that the reason those are there is that it will bevel that whole edge and then terminate on the next edge and so I wanted to force an edge rather than it going all the way to the end here and the same there. So it just 
it's just a bit more like and now you can sort of tackle the end and do something similar so if we zoom in here again I could do control R and I'll put a loop cut there and I'll do one on the other side sometimes control R will work sometimes you've got to just knife it so if I select these edges say I won't do them all but to well you see how that's terminated there it's not gone all the way down and I would, I could select these edges I'll just do these here why not I'll just do those three then we do control B pull it up click and again then we'll try alt shift click and control X and that's done that now what I want to do with these faces is, is rough them up a bit so I'm going to select these three that I've done I'm going to go to control T to triple them then alt J to make them quads and that means then that they can move at their own you know instead of just being one face we've got some nice clean things here then I can go mesh transform randomize and then just drag that down hold shift drag it down and I can just make it a little untidy and there you are you've got more detail on the edges there and you would just go around and continue to do that as you wanted to uh, the only thing to be aware of here is this is all shaded flat if I set to shade smooth and put my auto smoothing on then how they look is going to be based on this angle so if I put 15 see I get a different look than if I put 5 and so you you just play around with that angle to get what you're after and what I can do it actually as well I thought I'd already done that I select those and I can just do one small bevel on that roll the things off so it's only one so it's a chamfer there we go and you can tidy up little things like this I might say too I'm going to select that edge and then I'm going to go also select these edges and GX I'm going to push that closer to the door like that and uh, you can't use symmetry anymore you can't use symmetrize but obviously you're going to lose your chimney if you try that so just you're going to have to do these things manually what you can do is if if I just undo that actually and I GX like that get it there I can hover over there and press control C and select these edges go GX control V and just take that minus sign off and that way I know I've moved them the same distance both sides of the door so there we go just quick little things in terms of tidying things up if you want to um, and that's that